Hey, it's Bubs, and we're going to get right into this makeup look. I'm first going to show you guys what I do to prep my skin just to keep it moisturized under application. So I'm first using this Essence from Pixie, which is very moisturizing. As you can see, it's very thin and watery-like. It feels like a gel. It seeps right in, and it hydrates my skin immediately. Then I'm going to use Pixie's Rose Oil Blend to seal the moisture in and also also aid in some softness to my skin a little definitely goes a long way so I'm just going to add that on my face and smooth that in thoroughly the reason why I use more hydrating products when it comes to my skin prep is because my skin is dry then I'm gonna go in with this liquid highlighter from YSL this is going to give my skin more glow underneath the foundation So I'm using this 4-in-1 foundation stick from Pure Cosmetics. It's in the shade Light Espresso, and I've really been enjoying this foundation. I don't really gravitate towards stick foundations. I've always found that they're pretty cakey and they are super matte, but this is not matte at all. It blends into the skin so well, and it's a great match for my skin tone. Also, it gives so much coverage. I love the coverage. I actually have a problem with foundations blending underneath my neck and on my jawline. Usually it's really hard to get coverage there, but this gives me all the coverage I need. I will say I like to blend it out with a wet sponge. I find that it moves a lot better. When I use a brush, my face looks cakey. So using a damp sponge makes it so much better next i'm using revlon's photo ready candid antioxidant concealer in cafe this concealer has more of a neutral undertone so i really like it with this foundation and the concealer is very lightweight even though it's very moussey thick in texture it is thin and i like that because it blends into the skin and it's not heavy underneath my eyes so if you want more coverage with this product I would let it sit for at least a couple of minutes, blend it out, and then add another layer. That will give you a little more coverage. For me, I don't need too much coverage underneath my eyes. I don't really have dark circles to cover. I just want that area to be brightened, and using a thin layer for me is enough. Now I'm going to quickly prime my eyelids using my Max Prep and Prime, and then I'm going to use my highlighter today from Becca in rose gold and I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones, above my brows, down the bridge of my nose, you know all over, you know all those spots. I'm now going to lightly set underneath my eyes. This is the only area where I'm going to set using my banana cream powder from Graftobian. If I set this foundation all over, it will emphasize my dry patches and my face will look cakey. So I do not set this foundation. Now let's do my eyes. I'm just gonna take this warm brown in my crease. This eye look is really simple. There really isn't anything to it. I literally use like three or four eyeshadows and called it a day. I'm gonna take that same brown eyeshadow and blend it on my lower lash line as well. Once you do that, you want to take a fluffy blending brush and blend the edges just to make sure everything is seamless. Now I'm going to deepen up the crease with this darker brown and I'm using a denser, stiffer brush to pack the shade on. The smaller the brush I use, the more concentrated I want the eyeshadow to be. And now I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade. This is going to further deepen up the crease, make it more of a smoky eye. And at first I was not going for this, but I ended up going that route. And since I don't want this dark eyeshadow everywhere, on my lower lash line, I do go in with a smaller brush to blend it. 
Now for this gorgeous lid shade. Oh, do you see how metallic the shade is? I did not wet my brush or anything. This is straight from the pan. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I really love this palette. This palette is really beautiful. I was not expecting this quality, but Pixie, come on, Pixie. Then I'm going to take this darker shimmery shade just to blend the lid shade and the darker crease together. I want to use this purple bronzy shade by itself on the lid. I think this will be popping. Ugh. We're going to see. I'm going to try that in another video. I'm going to quickly add some black eyeliner in my waterline. And I didn't apply it all the way through. I just kept it halfway and i'm going to do the same thing for my upper lash line just to deepen up my lash line make it look a lot fuller and i'm going to quickly add these two mascaras off camera they work really well together one's more lengthening and the other one gives the lashes more volume so the both together works really well so both of them together works really well. Now for the lips, you guys have been loving it. I posted a picture of this look on my Instagram and you guys were going crazy for this ombre lip. So I'm first taking this lip pencil from MAC. I think it's discontinued, but it's a deep maroon lip pencil. I'm going to put that only on the outer edges. And then I'm going to take this lip gloss from Urban Decay. It is a cool tone, mauve pink, purple lip gloss. It looks so good. And I love cool tone colors on my lips. But I'm going to put that in the center and blend those two shades together. And the look is complete, guys. Off camera, I did add lashes. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.